Okay, so I'm sitting in my office looking at a motherboard, and I'm like, all right, so you got all these PCI Express slots, right? The graphics card goes here, but then you got all these other ones. What are people actually putting on these things? So I start clicking around on AliExpress, I'm like, wow, there's some really weird stuff that you can put in a PCI Express slot. So I issued a challenge. Actually, rather, I asked Jake to issue a challenge to four other members of our writing staff to scour eBay, Wish, AliExpress, and more and find what they believe is the weirdest PCI Express expansion card. We've provided no definition for weirdest. It's going to be down to judgment from your peers who managed to find the weirdest thing. And I'm participating as well, so. And Dennis uh, is here in spirit. And the winner gets a trophy, right? Yes, and it's engraved in everything. Where is it? Well, you can't see it yet. We have to show it's it to a them. Surprise. You know what's not a surprise? The fact that I'm gonna segue to our sponsor right now. With Pulseway, you can remotely monitor, manage, and control all of your Windows, Mac, and Linux machines from one app. Create your free account today at the link in the video description. Two. All right, Riley, you're going first. All right. Okay, Riley's first. See how nonchalant I am about this? Yeah. Because that's the amount of confidence I have. Stop it! Only I can. Not yeah. one, not two, not three. Wait, are these just mining not four. risers? Listen. It's a cool one. Wait, you had to buy these? This is a small, very small PCIe card. Ever seen something like that? What's that? USB ports? Yeah. That goes in there. Yeah. USB into a USB? Yeah. Do you know the potential of this? No. You could just keep going forever, <laughs> adding more and more Let's find out. PCI cards. Okay, so Look, that goes in here. Right, can we just... Wait, wait, whoa, wait. the bench is on. Wait, no, wait, I turned wait. it off. Turn the power supply off. No, that saying? can't go in there. That can't go in there. Yes, it can. No, I don't think this is a PCI uh, X16 uh, or whatever Yes, it, it is. is. Is it? Yes. Kind it of the entire oh, point. The the Riley, did you even know what you were buying? No, I didn't. Okay, Huzzah! so our USB graphics card is working. So what is this, like a PLX chip here? Definitely, that's definitely what it is. <laughs> yes, please. I have no idea. Like, what is the pin mapping here, though? Like, sure. this is what you call a USB there's only nine, port. There's only nine conductors. Yeah, well, that's all you need. I suppose you don't need that many. Okay, well it, well, it works. So like, does it have ray tracing? Yeah. So this is an RTX 2070 on, what is this? An 8700K, so we should be expecting like somewhere in the neighborhood of 250 plus FPS. Okay, well let's see how we do here then, shall we? Yeah, so basically what's happening is instead of just converting PCI Express to a USB cable, which is kind of like just using a PCI Express riser, except you're using the USB connector and cable, um, it's taking the same PCIe 1X interface using some kind of a PLX or hub chip of some sort or switching chip, and then it's turning the single 1X interface into four 1X interfaces. And so this is probably fine, but if we were to hook four graphics cards up at the same time, and all four of them were actually doing something. We'd be chugging. We'd be, we'd be not. And you don't want to do that right now. Gaming like. You don't want to try that. What, daisy chaining? No, I don't think there's any point daisy chaining them but running all four of them. Yes, could. let's do it. Just try daisy chaining it once. Okay, turn the power supply if off. You, if, all you, right. if you factor out the Wait, shorting really? out the board. <gasps> oh, power move. <laughs> you know what? It did that, it. That FPS oh. though is not, this was not ideal. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. We, lost, like, we just cut our FPS in half. <laughs> just see how many noobs you can pwn. That's pretty rough. Oh! <laughs> Man, you're time traveling. For your consideration, you have before you a system that could enable you to place a GPU anywhere in your house while keeping your regular PC right next to you. So, pretty awesome. But at what cost? <laughs> at the cost of a few frames. A few. What is that? What are frames? And here we have a PCI oscilloscope. Whoa. Wait, it's PCI? Oh, oh. <laughs> um, um, how does that work? Wait, how does that work? Well, I assumed you would get at least a PCI Express card. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> like, yeah. I thought there was sort of a minimum bar here for like, 
You actually, you told me specifically PCIe or PCI. That's yeah. true. That this was a conversation oh, that do. we yeah, had. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well then why didn't your test bench have a PCI slot on it, smart guy? Well, I wasn't expecting anybody to do it. <laughs> Especially for something that costs $600. More like seven. $700. <laughs> are those PCIs? No, those are no. PCI-X. See you later. <laughs> what are those? Is that the right one? No, that's not <laughs> What? <laughs> That's what? not a PCI, right? Yeah, that's PCI. Oh. Wait, what? We can't. Yeah, well, nothing's not happening. That. Yeah, this, it doesn't a... post with it in it, so there's nothing that we can reconfigure to. So this is something that is actually pretty cool for me. So that's a 7950GX2. Yes. I thought this was super cool because I'd never seen that this is how they used to actually do dual GPU cards. Basic. Oh. It's literally too great. Riley didn't I even know. I think it's cool. Yeah. So this, I've never seen this. Instead of like your Titan Z, Z, whatever, if you're Canadian or not, how they had those two GPUs on one card, they actually just gave you two cards that were like duct taped together and you get one slot and you just stick it in. And that's how you did Quad SLI back in the day. GPU sandwich. You made two of these. Yeah. So this one apparently worked, but when I got it, actually had one of the capacitors knocked off and then this one was like falling off. So, so I, did you hot glue it on? No, 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 hold on. I stole this capacitor from another motherboard because it, it, the leads were broken. And then to kind of keep it from breaking, I put some hot glue on there as a sort of celastic. <laughs> so hopefully it works. I put a lot of, that genuinely took me like an hour. This was back when they used to really falsely advertise hey, these, DVI? Uh, these cards. So it's got one gig, 512 bit on the back. But I'm pretty sure what they mean is two times 512 well, let's, megabytes. Let's check our eBay ad 256 here. 256-bit. Oh, no, no, I'm looking at the card he itself. He said two. I'm, I'm saying our eBay seller was an honest guy. Okay. He said two by half a gig. He's okay. He's a good guy. Oh, oh my yay! God, it worked. Shut up. That's sweet. I don't know. Getting pretty close to Alex territory here. Hey, the computer turned on. That's true. <laughs> That's pretty different. Yeah. You're on the podium. I you can believe whatever you want. There's no way there's a Windows 10 oh. driver. I'd be surprised if there's the a Windows desktop. 7 driver for this. That's a dead video card. He said it was working. So these look like um, these yes. look like dead pixels, kind of, but they're not. Please don't waste time DDUing it. Just you can try and install your driver, but like it's not going to work, and your card is broken. It lets you select it, and then it's like, yeah. I can't believe how much money you guys spent on seventy dollars and not working hardware. It was damaged in shipping. Okay. Thirty bucks. You don't sound convinced. Like yes. Woo! We're in the bios. <laughs> <laughs> oh Aha! Well, I never. Oh, and this is the deluxe. <laughs> nice. Now mine's doing it. It doesn't work. All right. Uh -huh. Get them. Nice. We're really nice. It's like a horse race where the horse and race. First. Okay, so you have uh, other problems coming for you though. No raids to find. Um, what OS were you planning to boot here? Um, I have Windows 7 32 bit oh, yeah. on that drive. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that not going to happen? No. No? Okay, uh, what, what do I boot on this? XP. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's working. Oh, <laughs> Look at these pads! Oh. Okay, to be fair. It's like this graphics card transports the character models back to the era it came from. <laughs> Are you telling me right now that this is working because I'm physically holding a capacitor in place on the graphics card? Let's try that and go in a minute. Like, is your finger comfortable? Are you good? It's kind of warm, but I'm, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> All right, how do we save? I assume that just saved. Don't, why would you? Oh wait, what? God. No way! You need to get a shot. Can, can you please play? Oh, oh I, I think this is starting it? to burn oh. my finger. Here, wow. tag me in, buddy. Oh, you gotta, you can't just let. You. What, oh. that's what did it? It just stopped? You can't just let go. It stopped as soon You're as I like. Oh, this thing is holding on the power. Oh, Colonel. Ah. <laughs> that's, that's Jake right there. What? That's Why did you let go? Look at my finger. <laughs> Look at my finger. I'm just gonna give it the old. Oh, God. There we are. Okay. Literally repairing this graphics card with no, scotch tape. Not the same artifacts. Crappy. Wait, are you telling me that the tape is doing a better job than Riley ever could? 
<laughs> my finger was burning. You let go of it. You could have like. What do you want me to do? Warning. Okay, it's working. Claiming at about eight too. FPS. Ah, oh, I got. A, I, I assisted. The game. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> no artifacts. Uh, there's no artifacts, it's the best GPU. Uh, oh, it's, it's <laughs> no guess. artifacts to speak of. This is exactly what we need right now. You plug this in, it's a fan. Ostensibly, it just blows air right away, and the bonus part <laughs> right is... Right away. It can cool down your glued-on capacitors and make your other stuff work. Was this Value planned? on value. Was this planned? No, that's just how handy these are. You need this in your life right now. Let me show you how this works. You know what's really good about them? I'm pretty sure the plastic is UV reactive. Jesus. <sighs> we really need it. <laughs> this is how those infomercials always start. <laughs> ah! Oh, baby. Look, the package says, it Comes with headphones. Light it up. <laughs> it's lit. What the heck? <laughs> I, does this even count? It doesn't even <laughs> have anything. We might need to modify it. The slot, like, yeah, it slots in. It's for PCI. This is super old. What? Oh, we can use it to cool my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I think it came with Amazon Prime, actually. This was in stock, ready to go. I'm confused as to, like, oh why, why does it look like it's a children's toy from a dollar store? Because this used to be the style when it came to, like, hardcore PC modding. I'm not even joking. Unlike some people, I only spent $20. But wait, there's more! Look at this little dial! You can go from low to high AF. It does fit in a PCIe slot. Oh! Sort of. So it's gonna blow air at the front. Uh, what about the ah, uh, Thank goodness for ROG shielding uh, stuff. Okay. It's fine, I'll do it. Okay, um, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, me, I'll put it down on the low setting. Oh my god. And it turned off. Turn but the off. lights are on. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little lower, a little lower, yet. Yeah. Is it too much? One fan works! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? It might not be enough power. No, it's it plenty of power. power. Barely even blowing any hair. Okay, so James is done. I still need to go, but in the meantime, we have an update over in Alex land. We have a hard drive detected. Yeah. We have an optical drive detected. Woo. And theoretically, we have a Windows XP boot CD. Yeah. Have you ever seen an ethernet card this small? Yeah, the one that I'd had. Yeah, but it's, it's USB. <laughs> oh, an ethernet card. <laughs> oh, he's got a blue bin. This <laughs> is how I intend to plug it in. Now, you'll have to give me a moment, gentlemen. <laughs> Wait, what? Laptop. So first, I will be needing, ah uh, yes, the Vakind Mini PCIe to PCIe Converter Wireless. This. Oh, wait, wait, that's not that interesting. All right, uh, I need an iFixit kit as well. I, uh, I have my sincere doubts as to whether or not this is going to work. At this point, we have gone from PCI Express 1X to Mini PCIe to PCMCIA. Uh, I just need this here. Here we go. Uh, so this goes that? in. This is PCMCIA. It was an old laptop expansion standard. Is it going this way or this way? I don't actually know. That way. Yep. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, I, remember I like that spring action. Yeah, I've seen to uh, USB. Oh my god. Wait, what? Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. USB port on the end of the PCMCIA. Okay. To Riley, he might be able to get this farther away from his PC than <laughs> even yours. Dual PCI Express 16X. Then we've got a PCI Express 4X interface at the bottom of this card here that we have adapted using this card to U.2. Then we've got a U.2 to M.2 board installed in that, which has an M.2 to U.2 the other end, like mini SAS HD, whatever this is called. Then we've got a mini SAS HD to U.2 over here, plugged into a board that does U.2 to PCI Express 4X, where finally we have installed a network card. Now, will this work? I have no idea. Doesn't smell like my excellent um, graphics card. Something just burned. 
Oh, oh yeah, that's, that, that's mouth. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, what happened? Oh. I mm. like that smell. <coughs> <laughs> Hold on a minute. No, I still have an entry. Because I did convert back to PCI Express at some point, I can cut out some parts of my chain here. My submission is a PCI Express to U.2 to M.2 to U.2 to U.2 to PCI Express 4X to network adapter. This is far less Get out of my way. Whoa! <gasps> Rude. The disrespect. Well, the slot that I wanted to plug into is broken because of my previous attempt. <laughs> I wonder if my network card is dead. Okay, because even that didn't work. This should be pretty straightforward. This is just PCIe yeah, to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, now, hold on just a gosh darn minute here. <laughs> the whole time. Is it just a bad network card? Oh, because that's why it, that's why it was gonna set on fire, right? Okay, right? All right. In, like in fear, it honestly feels the same. I'm okay. <laughs> Wait for it. I don't think That's because the air is going in, though. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. My time to shine. It's my time in the sun. You know what like, you know this is like? Let me speak your language. It's like in Fortnite, when you okay. get shot and you're crawling around, but you're not dead yet, but there's no way you're going to win. Yeah. That's these two. Just log out. Nope. Squad, Turn squad. your computer I'm, off. I'm installing drivers as we speak. I am moments away from having this fully it. operational. Okay, okay. My entry is... <laughs> this graphics card. What? I mean, uh, network card. <laughs> Isn't it adorable? Oh, that's cute. Yeah, wow. Yeah, wow. You didn't kill anything in putting that in. I've got a link! Come get close up. Meanwhile, over in Alex land, how are we doing? So, it seems like it is working. Uh, here it is, I think. Yeah. Uh, so now we just need a program to use it. <laughs> so, <laughs> you didn't even know what program? So we, we would need to install LabVIEW and then it should work just fine. How much is a LabVIEW license? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I think it's, I think we just have to do the voting now. You have to vote for two people and the competition is, without any real guidelines, the weirdest PCI or PCIe device. The weirdest. Starting with the most disappointing thing of tonight, me and James with just one vote. Oh. And then you get Linus with two. Hey, I'm on the podium, baby. <laughs> with two. Yeah. And then it's Alex with four, so we all suck. Woo! Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm happy to present you today. That's it? With, just shut up. <laughs> I don't know how to open it, but this is a quality. We have scissors. No, it's good, we're good. This was the coolest, weirdest trophy I could find. Such a mad dog. What? What? We best what weird finder 2019. <laughs> there you go. And to help me recoup the cost of this mess, um, <laughs> We have our sponsor to thank, PIA. Private Internet Access hides your true IP address and allows you to bypass due restrictions and censorship by making you appear as though you're connecting from somewhere else. And you can use it on five devices at once. It helps prevent attacks by blocking unwanted connections, auto blocks all traffic if the VPN disconnects, and keeps your data out of the hands of advertisers and other activity tracking snoops. PIA supports multiple VPN protocols and encryption levels so you can tune it to exactly the level of protection you want, and they've got over a thousand servers in 33 countries and they don't log user activity. So what are you waiting for? Go to lmg.gg slash PIA Linus 2 and check it out today. So thanks for watching, guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we feature. <laughs> let's, let's go! Wait, let's put this on LTG store. Somebody can buy it. At the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one. Seeing if anyone else is a team player, good job. Um, also down there is our community forum. Join that too.